Titans All Access continues from the BetMGM studio as we're talking ball, presented by Duncan with General Manager John Robinson. And by the way, watching this edition of Titans All Access, you're going to see going in and out of breaks the names of the finalists for the Tennessee Titans Mr. Football Award, which will be given at Nissan Stadium on December the 7th. This is also a big week for high school football. Blue Cross Bowl activity in Chattanooga. Excited about that. John, great time to be a high school athlete in the state. Tell me, why is it so important to you and this entire organization to support high school sports the way the Titans do? Well, Mike, I mean, I think it's where most of us all got our start with, uh, you know, the, the game of football and uh, where that first love kind of started to, to cultivate. So uh, to be a part, to give back and, and to honor, you know, those players individually that have had outstanding seasons, uh, as well as support those teams that are pushing towards that state title. Now let's take a quick look back over the Titans win over Green Bay. As you look through the tape, what really stands out to you about that win? But I thought offensively we were able to get into drives. We were able to sustain drives, uh, both running it and, and passing it. It was good to see the passing attack kind of come to life there. Uh, and defensively, it was just the opposite. We were able to stop their running game, uh, force some, put some pressure on, on Aaron Rodgers, and, and force them to punt. And uh, it was a tough road environment, but uh, great to come away with that win. Yeah, when you win the game 27-17 and you see the celebration, the fans all there who were there for the Titans are celebrating, the team's celebrating. Unfortunately, center Ben Jones was not there. And yet, you brought him to the party because you had him on your phone greeting the players as they headed back into the locker room. Really a magical moment to see. What made you think to do that? Yeah, I mean, I don't I mean, he's a, he's a captain. He's, he's one of our leaders. He's one of the guys when we come uh, after the win, he comes up the tunnel. He's always got a big bear hug for me. Uh, and it just dawned on me that he was back in Nashville. So I thought I would FaceTime. Look, he was still awake. And I wanted him to be a part of, you know, the excitement that was going on with his teammates and then him to be able to share that moment with him uh, with that win there in Lambeau. Let's look ahead to the next opponent, the Cincinnati Bengals. They're six and four. They're coming off of a big win over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Joe Burrow is still playing great. What is it about him and his style of play that makes him almost an elite quarterback? Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's got an outstanding skill set. I mean, he's uh, he's mobile within the pocket. He can escape pressure and get on the, on the perimeter of defenses. Uh, he's got a strong arm. He's got great, uh, great chemistry uh, with, with the playmakers around him. He certainly got a lot of those. Um, and he's got, he's got a big arm and he's accurate. You know, he throws uh, with a lot of confidence uh, that it's gonna be on target and his guy's gonna be there to make the play. One of the targets, one of the elite athletes is T Higgins, who's from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. With Jamar Chase having missed the last three games, T. Higgins has really elevated. What do you see from him that's allowed him to go to this different level? Yeah, he's playing really, really well, Mike. I mean, he's he's a longer player. I mean, he's 6'4 and change. Uh, he's got a really big catch radius. He's got excellent catch skills. Uh, I think one of the things that I've been the most impressed watching him is his ability to drop his weight for a taller player to get in and out of his brakes. It looks like his route tree has really expanded, you know, more than the vertical go or the post. Uh, he can run a lot of those in cuts, a lot of those you know quick outs, uh, because he has developed that skill set to drop his weight in and out of his breaks. Finally, what are your keys to beating the Cincinnati Bengals? Well, I certainly, you know, I think we touched on the, the offensive firepower that they have. Uh, I'd add Mixon into that group, their running back who's outstanding. Uh, Boyd, the other receiver, and Hurst, the tight end. You know, a lot of playmakers, and they've really rebuilt that offensive line in the offseason. Uh, defensively, there's a lot of familiar faces that we saw in January. Um, great safety tandem in, in Bates and Bell. Uh, two rangy linebackers in Wilson and Pratt, uh, and with Hendricks and Hubbard off the edge, DJ Reader in the middle. Um, you know, we've got to sustain drives offensively like we did in Green Bay. We've got to get into the drives. We've got to keep the football. Uh, we've got to try to get some turnovers off these guys uh, and force them to punt.